The South African Medical Research Council has recommended that the child support grant needs to be increased. The child support grant in South Africa, which is the smallest of all the grants, is currently 460 rand per month after being increased from 450 in April 2021. Now, in a report, the council says the reality is that the grant is primarily used to buy food, food that is insufficient in quantity and quality to contribute to adequate nutrition. The grant for each child is paid out to a designated caregiver who manages the funds on a child's behalf. Joining us now is Dr. Wanga Zembe, a specialist scientist at the South African Medical Research Council. Dr. Zembe, very good evening to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome to The Full View. Good evening. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Well, this week, Finance Minister Ino Godongwana did announce that uh, the foster care and child support grant would increase by 20 rand in April. I suppose that, that this report was promulgated much earlier than this announcement. So, uh, what, uh, I mean, what's the South African Medical Research Council recommendation of uh, you know, the correct grant? Um, so, just to say first that the report is based on a research project that was actually commissioned by the Black Sash. And so the South African Medical Research Council um, we were one of the research partners on the project. Um, and indeed, the project was conducted last year, the, the research, the study, it's not new. Um, and our key recommendation, certainly when it comes to the amount, what we are calling for is that the child support grant should at the very least be pegged to the food poverty line, which is currently 624 rand. So what we're calling for is, um, is for this child support grant to be linked to a, an objective measure of need. It, it shouldn't sort of be an amount that's not um, linked to, to something that we know could help make it adequate. And the food poverty line at 624 per, per child per month would be a start. Well, while this has been loaded as a very, you know, has a noble intention on the part of government, but uh, some concerns still remain with regards to the effectiveness of the child support grant. Uh, so what do you make of that? And uh, how should the government and, uh, you know, the, the, the social welfare personnel deal with the misuse of such grants? I think first to, um, to, to certainly say from an evidence-based perspective, as far as the evidence that we have on hand is concerned, there isn't any, an indication of any wide misuse of the child support grant. The reason why the grant is not as effective as um, one would expect it to be and as it needs to be is because it is eroded through it being having to be used for needs other than the child because of the high unemployment rate in this country, because of the high food poverty levels, and then because it's such a small amount of money. And so our research, including this report that was um, launched yesterday by the Black Sash, certainly shows that um, the child support grant is spent on needs other than food. In fact, primary caregivers are faced daily with an impossible task of having to choose whether to spend the money on food or other critical needs, such as um, educational, um, you know, expenses for their children, um, a leaking roof, um, other key needs, essential needs, uh, clothing for children, and, and so on. And so the fact that the, the child support grant is having to be spent on other needs that are completely valid, but that do not concern the nutritional needs of the child means that it's eroded. It's already a small grant, and then um, its expenditure on other needs means that it's further eroded, and that's what's making it ineffective. It is not the fact that it's being misused. All right, so you did suggest then that, uh, you know, it's uh, used for other needs which are valid, such as clothing, education, and, uh, you know, the general welfare of the child, but that doesn't necessarily, uh, you know, mean the nutrition of the child. So what's the way forward with regards to this? Uh, uh, would you also be in support of uh, such suggestions that the, the grant should be, you know, stayed away with, but instead, uh, you know, food parcels should be instead given to families and uh, children? So, in fact, our report, the recommendations that we make, we say we don't use an instead of. We are saying along with. Okay. And, in fact, one of our key recommendations is for a cash plus approach to be used in, 
in, in actually very intentionally developing a, a comprehensive strategy to dealing with the problem of, of um, malnutrition and specifically undernutrition in, in, of children in South Africa. So in addition to the child support grant, which would be at the food poverty line level, we are saying there should also be maternity protection for pregnant women in from pregnancy and throughout the breastfeeding period. There should be um, the other elements of the basket of services that target children, such as um, educational expenses, such as school, school transport, school uniforms, stationaries, the cost of attending um, ECD, ECDs and, and, and schools in general, um, that such costs should, I mean, rather that such services should be provided free of charge for Our every single child support grant recipient. And then there should be other community level interventions such as food vouchers, food parcels. So we're saying not instead of, but alongside with, because the cash on its own, it's not possible for it to do all of this. All right, Dr. Zembe, lovely chatting to you. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Thank you. That was Dr. Wang.